video is part two of stoichiometry. We're going to convert from grams to moles. Now you'll notice on your mole tropolis uh, sheet that you can't go exactly from grams of A to moles of B. There's no direct route from one to the other. So we have to take a little bit of a detour. We first have to go down via our molar mass from grams of A to moles of A so that we're at our mole center. Then we're going to take our mole to mole causeway across our river to get to our moles of B. And to do that, we're going to use our mole to mole ratio of A to B. So this is the pathway we're going to use to convert from grams of A to moles of B, or if we need to go the opposite direction of moles of something to grams, so we're just going to do it in the reverse manner. So let's go through my sample problem letter, our number three. I want to know the mass of my potassium chlorate that is needed to produce 0 0.50 moles of oxygen gas. Well, I first write down what I'm given. Well, I'm given 0 0.50 moles of oxygen. I need to find my amount of grams of potassium chlorate, given here, what's my mass needed. And then I need to determine how I'm going to do it. Well, from what I'm given to what I'm trying to find, I have moles of oxygen to get to grams of potassium chlorate. But I can't go that direction. That doesn't exist. I don't have a pathway to get me there. So therefore, first I need to cross my river of moles to mole ratio, I'm going to go across my causeway to convert to moles of potassium chlorate. Then for moles of potassium chlorate, I can then go up to my mass mountain using my molar mass because my conversion factor. So in order to make this happen, there are two different things that I need. I need to know my mole to mole ratio to make my first conversion, and then I need to know my molar mass of, pot of potassium chlorate to make my second conversion. So those are things I need to find first. So my mole to mole ratio comes from my balanced chemical equation. My balanced chemical equation is 2 KClO3 decomposes into 2 potassium chlorides and 3 oxygens. So therefore, my mole to mole ratio of oxygen to potassium chlorate, I have 3 moles of oxygen for my coefficient 3 here for every 2 moles of potassium chlorate that decomposes, so a 3 to 2 ratio. I also need my molar mass of potassium chlorate. I get that by taking my average masses of all three, adding them together, and I have three oxygen, so that's multiplied by three, in the standard way to calculate molar mass. My molar mass of potassium chloride is 122.55 grams per mole. Now that I have all my components and my conversion factors, I can actually go ahead now and make my conversion. So starting with what I'm given from my problem, which also tells me my number of significant figures, I write that first as 0 0.05 moles of oxygen. Step one, I'm using my moles to mole ratio to go from moles of oxygen to moles of potassium chlorate. So I need to get rid of my moles of oxygen, that goes on the bottom, and moles of potassium chlorate goes on the top. So I get rid of my moles of oxygen, and it's a three to two ratio. So three moles of oxygen for every two moles of potassium chlorate. Now I'm here. Now I need to go from potassium chlorate to grams of potassium chlorate. So my grams of potassium chlorate needs to be on top. Moles of potassium chlorate needs to be on the bottom. I use my molar mass of 122.55 grams for every one mole. Then I put this in my calculator. 0.5 times 2 times 122.55 divided by 3 divided by 1 gives me 41 grams of potassium chlorate. Remember to use your significant figures as this actually rounds my number to 41 as opposed to the long decimal that you get out of your calculator. Now let's walk through our sample problem number four. It asks you how many moles of aluminum will be produced from 30 grams of aluminum oxide in this reaction. I have two moles of aluminum oxide decomposed into four moles of aluminum and three moles of oxygen. So first I need to determine what am I given. Well, I'm given 30.0 grams of aluminum oxide. Then what am I trying to find? Well, I asked how many moles of aluminum, so that's what I'm trying to find. And how am I going to do that? Well, right now, for my given to find, I have grams of aluminum oxide, and I want to convert to moles of aluminum. 
But I can't do that because I look at my molten sheet and I put my finger on grams of aluminum oxide, my other one on moles of aluminum, and there's no direct route from one to the other. Instead, I need to go from grams of aluminum oxide down to moles, then across my river to moles of aluminum. So I'm going to map that out so that way I can easily follow what I need to do. So first, I need to go from grams down to moles of aluminum oxide. Then I cross my river to moles of aluminum, and then from moles of aluminum, that's where I want to go. So if I can actually draw it. So from grams to moles and up to moles from aluminum oxide to moles of aluminum. So to go from grams to moles, I have to use my molar mass, abbreviated MM. And then from moles of aluminum oxide to moles of aluminum, I use my mole to mole ratio. So those are two things I need to find. So first I need to figure out what is the molar mass of aluminum oxide. Well I have two aluminums, three oxygens, and I get a molar mass of aluminum oxide of 101.96 grams per mole. Then I need to determine my mole to mole ratio of aluminum oxide to aluminum. I do that by pulling from my balanced chemical equation. I have two moles of aluminum oxide for every four moles of aluminum. And I don't reduce this. So I have two moles of Al2O3 for every four moles of aluminum. Now that I have my conversion of one, or my first conversion and my second conversion, I can go ahead and write out my actual react or my actual equation. So step three, I actually write out my whole equation. I start with what I'm given, my 30.0 grams of aluminum oxide. And the first thing I need to do is convert from grams to moles using my molar ratio. So I want to get rid of grams and I want to go to moles. And I know that my, moles, my molar mass of that is 101.96 grams for every one mole. So now I'm here. Now I need to go from moles of aluminum oxide to moles of aluminum using my moles to mole ratio. Well, I want to get rid of my moles of aluminum, so that's going to go on the bottom. Or sorry, aluminum oxide. And I want to go to moles of aluminum, so that's going to go on the top. My ratio that I've calculated is 2 moles of aluminum oxide for every 4 moles of aluminum. So now I'm left with moles of aluminum, which is what I was trying to find. So then I plug this in my calculator, three, or 30 times 1 times 4 divided by 101.96 divided by 2 gives me an answer of 0.588. Moles of aluminum. Now I started with three significant figures, so my final answer also means I have three significant figures. So follow these same steps of give and find and how you're going to get there, mapping it out, to go ahead and do your three practice problems. Your answers are listed here. Again, work through the steps that I've given you and use it as a tool to figure out the correct answer.